Eduardo, for this uh, experimental demonstration, we're using some KDEC gas, and I'm going to fill the bread bag with KDEC gas. And let's just get this over the mouth of the Bunsen burner. I've closed off the air vent there. Let's switch it on. And the gas coming out of here is most probably butane or propane or mixture. And you would be acquainted with the gas either from cooking on gas, some of you cook on gas, or uh, camping gas outfits, or even the little disposable cigarette lighters that look as if they're filled with liquid. They actually just, it's just gas under pressure. And when you use a cigarette lighter, the gas comes out. Okay, we need to have a, a source of energy again just to get the reaction going, as we have uh, each time we're going to need some energy to kick solder. So I'm going to just light the meth burner, get it going here, and move it closer to our bag that's filling with Kato gas. If I just take it off there carefully and twist the neck of the bread bag like that, I'm going to be steer clear of the flame, a bit of tape around the bread bag. And remember, again, what we're showing is the oxidation of the alkane gas. This is the one that goes on in motor cars. That's a pity. We're going to tie this onto the stick so I'm not too close to it because the energy released by the oxidation of the alkane gas um, is going to, be, it's going to be quite hot, the energy around the plastic bag. The, the products produced here are going to be carbon dioxide and water vapor, the same as come out of exhaust pipes. So the plastic will catch a light, and then we'll get a little fireball as the gas itself catches the light, and we see the exothermic reaction, and no explosion, just a fireball, and a fireball and exothermic reaction. 